Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today, Starfield. I'm so excited to be jumping into this game. I can't believe it's actually here. For those that perhaps don't know the game, Starfield's an open world sci-fi RPG and it's the first new universe in over 25 years from Bethesda Game Studios, the creators of Elder Scrolls and Fallout. In this next generation role-playing game set amongst the stars, create any character you want and explore with unparalleled freedom as you embark on an epic journey to answer humanity's greatest mystery. In the year 2330, humanity has ventured beyond our solar system, settling new planets and living as a spacefaring people. You will join Constellation, the last group of space explorers seeking rare artifacts throughout the galaxy, and navigate the vast expanse of space in Bethesda's biggest and most ambitious game yet. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't be more excited. So if you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all there is to discover about Starfield, I'll put all the links you need below. You can check those out. And while you're down there, check the timestamps out. Find what you're looking for from this video and leave satisfied. That's all I ask of you. Use the timestamps. You will see that we're going to start by looking at the presets. That's these profiles over here. Then we're going to jump into body customization. There's both male and female customization options there. Then we'll do male face, female face. That's the full customization of the face itself. Then we'll have a look at the backgrounds and the traits. And again, the timestamps, they will lead you to any of those parts. Much like other Bethesda games, you've got to play through an intro of about 10 minutes to get started on character creation, so keep that in mind if you're jumping in. Two more things I'll mention. Firstly, you can re-customize your character in the game. It says it right here. Your biometric customizations can be changed later by visiting a genetics facility. I don't think that you can change your background or your traits. I think that those are pretty set in stone because a lot of them actually affect the game world. So it'll just be your cosmetic stuff. And then finally, in the character creator, you can zoom in pretty far with right click. You can turn the character model and you can zoom out pretty far as well. And for real, it looks pretty phenomenal. I, especially when you zoom in, I did not expect this. I was expecting Fallout 76's character creator with a few tweaks, but this does look a whole lot better. And you'll see when we start mixing things up and when we start going through these faces, it's really impressive. And we're gonna start now by looking at the presets. I remember them mentioning before that if you see a character in the game world, you should basically be able to make that character here in the character creation system. I'm not sure if this is John Starfield and this would be Jane Starfield. <laughs> I don't know if these are the two defaults. They usually do that, right? They do make one and two like the two default characters. Uh, it's like the dude from the trailer, you could say. But um, either way, yeah, they look pretty good. There are a lot of cool styles here. I'll zoom out a little so you can see the hair. And one of the things that stood out to me immediately when I jumped in here was the fact that you have a lot of customization options to make your character look unique in ways that you don't usually expect. I mean, I was quite impressed by the hair quality and textures, the facial hair included with that, but the skin options are honestly insane. There are so many of them. And I mean like blemishes, uh, beauty spots, freckles, wrinkles, everything. It's awesome. And you can see that when you jump between these and you look at the, the age range that they have here. We've looked at mostly younger characters now, but when the older ones start popping up, you can see here, it looks so natural. It actually just looks like a really good fit. You know, oftentimes in games like this, where you get full customization and they allow you to make an older character, the older character ends up looking unnatural. The gray hair on the character looks out of place. The wrinkles look like they aren't really there. It's sort of like a layer splashed on top of the face. But this, no, dude, this is amazing. This is fantastic. So like quality wise, they've, they've really taken a significant step up from Fallout 76, which was, as far as I know, the previous game that they did. I love it. And then when it comes to the fine tuning sculpting, when it comes to setting up the shape of the face, you will notice that there are lots of different options that you can jump onto. Uh, and, and I mean, it's, you know, it's stuff that you, you sort of look at and you take for granted. I mean, like, look at this guy's neck here. Look at the, um, the smile lines. You know, look at the, the subtle wrinkles and crow's feet and stuff like that. And then you look at the face shape as well. And it's so vastly different from some of the other stuff. I, yeah. 
I love it. I love it. I am being positive about this, by the way. Yeah, you could nitpick and say, oh, you know, you've seen better quality models in a game that came out a while. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of options here, and it looks pretty awesome. The hair looks great. Uh, and again, like I mentioned, the skin color options are awesome. Uh, the one thing I was a little disappointed by was the hair color choices. Uh, they only give you sort of a selection. They don't give you any direct control over how you put the hair color on there. But the colors that they do have do look pretty great. So, yeah. And and again, <laughs> I love the inclusivity of the hairstyles and facial hair. Uh, this is case in point right here. You got the receding hairline. You got the patchy beard. Oh, my God. I feel seen. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. This is, by the way, this is one of my favorite parts. It's like, this is this is the randomization of this video. It's like, there's no actual randomize button, which I'm quite sad about, by the way. Uh, but this is what I'm treating it as, is that, like, you know, you get a good look at what's available here. You get a look at what you can potentially do. You get some good-looking characters. You get some characters that you might consider slightly more gnarly-looking. But there's a reason for that, because it all tells a story. And it's fantastic, you know? Man. Yeah. And then you get Amos from The Expanse. Am I the only one that sees that? No, I'm not. That's Amos from The Expanse. My god. Don't even bother making a character. Don't customize anything. Just pick Amos and go. Oh, man. You got MacGyver in his prime. It's fantastic. We've reached the end. So, honestly, these presets... This is thumbs up. You can't see me making a thumbs up right now, but it's a thumbs up. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to customize old John Starfield here and see how that goes. Uh, we're going to move on to the body options now. As I mentioned, the body options, male and female, all combined here. Uh, we're going to have a look at them all together. I'm going to start with the male body type, and I'm going to show you how this works. So, you've got muscular, thin, heavy. It explains itself. You get to move this dot around. You get to put it anywhere you like, and it modifies the body. So, if I'm on muscular, got a pretty muscular body this guy looks stacked you can't take the clothes off to have a look what his muscles look like underneath right now but you can see that he's pretty bulky then if you go all the way around a little bit you'll see it gets thinner 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 and when he gets to thin that's yeah <laughs> I, mean, I mean that's pretty skinny look at those arms it's kind of crazy then you can go all the way around to heavy if you like and uh, you can obviously stop anywhere in between uh, i i mentioned to my wife earlier when she was having a look at this that they do well with the weight distribution. Uh, I feel like on both the male and female bodies, they do relatively well with, and you can see it if you move this around faster, um, you, you, you can see that the weight goes to the right places. You can see that they distribute it evenly in the right way. Uh, you can see things like the face reacting. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big deal. I, I feel like oftentimes there's this disconnect between the body and the face. And in this, not so much. Look at this. If you move it around here, obviously when you go thinner, you only get a little bit more gaunt uh, in the face. Uh, but if you go more muscular, you get a little bit more meat on your bones. It sort of, it, it feels like it squares out a little bit. You go heavier, uh, you got a little bit more uh, fat, you got a rounder face there. Yeah, it makes sense. And then uh, you can go anywhere in between as well, which I'm actually a big fan of. I like the idea of being able to uh, go on the inner line over here. It's sort of a less extreme version. It's like if you want a thin character that doesn't look overly anorexic or something like that, you go here somewhere, then you could go even further out, make it skinnier. Same for muscular. You can sort of be lean and ripped if you go over here, uh, and you can push it more towards muscular to get slightly bulkier or bigger. And the same with a heavy character. It's kind of cool. It's a great system. And if you want the, the default plain standard, you just put it in the middle like that. It's perfect. Now, female body type. Uh, once again, I want to say, yes, I feel like they did a great job with this. The the way that the the body reacts to the to the changes that you make in here is is fantastic. I think they could have given the ladies slightly more muscles. I, I, I'm going to say that. I'm going to come out and say that right now. Just like later, I'm going to say I feel like they could have given the ladies beards, but <laughs> that's a me thing. Uh, the muscles, I, I do think that they could have given them a little bit more. But overall, yeah, it looks nice. And when you go skinnier, it, it goes really, really skinny. Uh, and and same thing for when you go heavier. Uh, but I, I really believe that they did a, a nice job with putting the weight in the right places. And again, you can see it when you move around a little bit faster. It's kind of 
realistic. Even though I feel like saying, oh yeah, the way this body reacts is is realistic, is kind of stupid because everyone's body uh, puts on weight in different places. Everyone's body uh, feels like it would look different with any amount of, of body fat or anything like that. Uh, but I, I think that they give you enough here to, to be able to sort of jump in and, and make what you want. And again, you can go uh, sort of on the inner line here and it's slightly less extreme. Uh, but it's kind of a cool thing to play around with. And again, your default right there in the middle puts you on the standard body shape. And it looks great. I'll zoom in quickly, show you the faces on this with the bigger and smaller. Muscular, slightly squarer. Thinner, the neck gets smaller. Uh, less weight, slightly more gaunt on the cheeks. Heavy, it puts the weight on there. And you've got the, the jowls sort of uh, kicking in there. It's kind of nice. Yeah, good options. Really good options. Now, our next up here is the walk style. You've got... I'm going to say it, it's like the masculine and feminine walk. There's not much of a difference between these two. You get a little bit more hip action in this one. A little bit more sway, sway, swagger, swagger. It really doesn't matter all that much. Uh, if you look at it from the front here, there you go. It's like, I would call this a more determined stride. And I would call this a more um, uh, proper walk it's but it's not really proper in that way you can see the butt action sort of moves around a little bit more it sort of moves around a little bit less on this it's it's basically the same <laughs> it's basically the same you could you could pick any one you like okay and you'll and you'll be okay with it uh now we're gonna do the skin tones what are you smiling like that for <laughs> well it's nice to see you too hello jeez what the heck <laughs> that that oh man that's yeah cheese Okay, skin tones. Good skin tones. The game has nice skin tones. I mentioned before I really like what they do with the skin textures, but the tones look kind of nice too. Let me show you. Uh, I'm using the keyboard for this, left and right. But basically you've got pale, and then as you go down it gets darker. They add a little bit more warmth to it, um, and it, it does go pretty dark on the darkest side of things, and it looks nice. Uh, the one thing they could have maybe improved a little bit here is they could have given you some warmer tones and some cooler tones, but for real... You can do that with the face options. It's no biggie. No biggie whatsoever. Uh, so it's definitely enough. Uh, it's pale enough. And I think it looks pretty decent. So there you go. That's the male body. That's what it looked like there. It's good. It's good. And it changes the entire look and feel of the character. huh? So like, you, yeah, you get, a, you get an entirely different feel with that. I'm going to go on the palest one and you'll see why uh, when we start customizing. Uh, mostly because... I I want to I want you to be able to see ah, actually we'll go for the standard one I want you to be able to see what is changing but that's it for the body stuff we are going to jump into the face customization for male now brace yourselves there's actually quite a lot of options here it's a it's a pretty robust system so skin tone you get to change the skin tone here as well it's the same as what we just had before it's smart to have it in both of the uh, menus just because uh, I'll go on the paler one here. Then you get to do head shape. This is a big deal. <laughs> this is a really big deal. This is going to change the entire look and feel of your character along with what you do in the body options. So you take the body options and you combine it with this. Now, it's interesting because you have head shapes here, right? So I can go through these. And it's basically different combinations of this cross right here so if i keep moving through you'll see the face shape changes but please just keep in mind that you can change the body shape you can put a little bit more meat on the bones then you can come here and change this and then it'll look completely different so you've got those combinations to think about but you can also just use the slider you can go for fully square you can go for fully round you can go for thin and you can go for wide and legit it looks pretty good there's, there's, there's basically a whole lot that you can do with it. And you'll see that the whole face structure moves around. I really like what they've done with this. The, the, the entire face moves around. They don't mess around with this. They give you so much flexibility. It's cool. It's really cool. And you can go sort of anywhere in between as well, right? I'll leave it on the default for now, but just know that there's a lot to modify there. Then, my favorite part of any character creation system, the hair. We're going to jump back to the start quickly. And we're going to start at the bald head. Now, as far as I've seen, these are the same on both male and female. Uh, obviously, barring the fact that there's facial hair for male, but not for female. And I'm going to say right here, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of the hair here. You know, 
I think one of the weaknesses of the Fallout games and the uh, Elder Scrolls games thus far has been the the character creation system, the way the characters look, how hard it is to make a good looking character. And a lot of that obviously ends up being the fact that it doesn't look natural. It doesn't look really good, like it like it fits together, like certain options just don't gel well with certain other options. But with this, they've managed to make the hair look pretty natural on anything and the quality is there it's there you have enough it looks great you know and, it, and it's like when you zoom in further it looks even better they've got the individual strands they got good texture quality uh, I, I don't think there's much along the lines of like hair physics but you don't really need it uh, I, I'm gonna say that even though there are some longer styles I do feel like the game excels at the shorter styles I don't know if that's part of the setting I don't know if that's part of what they wanted with this, the look and feel of the game, but uh, there, there are, in my opinion, it seems to be like there are more shorter styles and they seem to favor the shorter styles more. And it's fine. It's fine. It's a, it's a, it's a choice that they made, but I will again say, I think that this game would look pretty good if, if you could pick some more longer style. Like this, this, the hair quality is quite nice. And I'm, I'm always going to bring this up. I bring it up almost every time since that game came out, but Hogwarts Legacy had some phenomenal hair. Baldur's Gate 3 very recently also had really nice hair, uh, but but th those two, like, they've become sort of the gold standard, and I like to compare the other games to them because, you know, you have to. Uh, they are the other games in the space, and they are influential. Really influential. This, <laughs> this style. <laughs> I, yeah, this is a very local South African traditional style here. But this is very nice. I like, I really dig it. <laughs> Pretty cool. And now as we reach the end here, you will see what I mean. Uh, the, there's a defin de definite lack of, of longer styles of, let's just say more complex, bigger hair. But it's pretty cool. There's a, there's a, a great selection here. And, and for real, they look good. They stand up to scrutiny when you zoom all the way in. I think it looks great. I don't know. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think, but I'm a big fan of what they've done with the hair here. It's crisp, it's clean, it's neat, it's tidy. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I will pick something that doesn't hinder our other uh, viewing. Let's take something like this one. That's kind of nice. And then we're going to look at the hair colors. Pretty nice hair colors to choose from. Really cool. Uh, I mentioned this at the start, I think, but the hair colors if I didn't I'll mention it again now uh, the hair colors I do feel like one thing could have been done is they could have given us a little bit of control over maybe grain and uh, and, and and sort of highlights and and combining hair colors and stuff like that sort of again I, I think a good comparison would be what they did in Baldur's Gate if they could give us a little bit more control over that but you will notice that there are enough gray styles here. There are enough darker styles, lighter styles, colorful styles. I mean, like, there are, like, four different blacks here, which is pretty fantastic. And then you have these that have built-in highlights. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool. Uh, but, you know, I will tell you that people obviously would prefer to do the highlight in themselves. This color is fantastic. It, it, it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. It, it makes me happy whenever I see it. That is a beautiful blonde. That might be the most beautiful blonde color I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> it's just, it's such, a, it's such a nice color to look at. The red is also this, like the orange and the red styles. Uh, this color specifically is just, wow, you know? I, I do feel like whoever worked on these character models, uh, they knew what to do. They knew. They knew exactly what would get the uh, get the juices flowing, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> These are good choices. Uh, but I again feel like you are a little limited with the colors. Because like they've included the louder colors, the dyed hair and stuff like that, but you don't really get a lot to choose from where that's concerned. Regardless, big fan. Good stuff. Not bad. Let's do it. Facial hair. I'm going to choose this one just because it sort of looks uh, uh, decent. I'm going to also quickly pick facial hair color to be the same as the hair color. So we can look at it and, and have a natural feel to it. Facial hair also looks nice. I'm going to say that before I even look at it here. 
I complained quite loudly about the fact that there weren't double options in Baldur's Gate. Uh, I, I like that they added it here. I like that you get to actually pick just sort of like a five o'clock shadow, you know. And I'm also a big fan of, and this is something that once again just shows that the guys who made these models, who made the hair and stuff like that, uh, they know what they're doing. It's 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 nice when they put the stubble underneath the beard to show sort of, you could say, where the beard line is or whatever. Um, oftentimes these games, they this is a perfect example of it, they just put the hair on and then without any shading and without any stubble underneath it, it looks so unnatural. It looks like a kid who pasted a, a beard onto their face with glue or something, you know? But when you actually put that layer on there and you work on the shading properly, then I really feel like you get a much better and more together look and feel. Like this, for instance. Again, I feel seen. I feel represented. Look at this little scruff on the sides here. <laughs> it's awesome. It is really awesome. Uh, and this, it looks so natural. I, I'm, I'm actually, I'll come out and say that I feel like the, the facial hair here looks better than what we saw in Baldur's Gate. Again, because they have so much representation here. And we are going to get to the fuller styles. There are fewer fuller styles, uh, not so many big beards to choose from, but the ones that they have, it's these two, they do look quite good. Uh, again, though, this is where it really excels. Like, you, you, you're looking at, like, every <laughs> normal human male between the age of 20 and 40. Uh, this, this is it, man. <laughs> This is it. I'm sorry. I know that there are some outliers. I know some of you guys have these glorious beards that look fantastic, but I'm not one of those guys. Uh, so I, I, I really like this. Now, the colors, I'm going to go through them very quickly, but they are the same as the hair. That's how I was so easily able to uh, just line them up and have the same. But you can, obviously, if you'd like to, pick a different color for your beard. Uh, some people do have darker beards or lighter beards than they do here. Sometimes people have beards that gray faster. Uh, sometimes people dye their beards pink or purple or blue or green. Uh, but yeah, you get to change the colors, have them different. For the rest of this, we will take it away. We are still looking quite boyish here. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll get to that. Now, eye options. Uh, these are actually pretty big as well. A very impactful choice that you can make. Uh, sorry, I keep trying to zoom in with mouse wheel, but you have to actually right click. I'm going to zoom in for this. You will notice that there are options over here to choose from. We're going to get to this, and I'm going to say straight up that these shape blend options, yeah, they're sometimes more trouble than they're worth. But firstly, you choose eyes. These are eye presets, and it, it, it involves a lot of different factors. It's ethnicity, it's age, it's wear and tear, <laughs> if, if you will, uh, and, and many other things. But these are very important choices. These can can like basically make or break your character. Uh, and once you've chosen the basic template that you want, then you can modify it. So if I say, yeah, I want this one, which is basically the first one we started on, then you can modify things by moving these bars around. We can go higher. We can go lower. I'll zoom in a little bit more for you to see. We can go wider or narrower. So you've got direct control over these. You can go up or down. That's that's actually, that's actually in or out, but yeah, um, the scale. So bigger eyes, smaller eyes. Then you can go backwards or forwards. If you look at that, it's a very subtle change, but it's there. Then the shape blends. So what this does is it takes the presets that you have and it allows you to mix them together in a way uh, but it's 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 strange like that. Okay, so it, it's kind of I'm not gonna say it's difficult to understand because it's not so much that but You get to mix and match Right you get to take different parts of them So you could imagine this as like the heritage system in GTA or Red Dead Online where you can take two of them You can be like yeah, I kind of like you know two different uh, shapes here and you can see how they do them here by the way you can see as I go through them that's six that's seven that's eight and that's nine right you can see they pop up as you select them over here uh, so you can basically take them and you can be like yeah I mean I'd kind of like uh, the intensity of number seven but I want to combine that with with sort of the laid-back look of number one then you can go over here and you can move that in a little bit and it actually blends them together it does it really well and I mean, that right there, it gives you thousands of combinations. Right here, thousands. Just this here, this here, and this here. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. But at the same time, it's something that you can get lost in and you can easily mess up with. So it's like, it's, it's not to be used if you don't, don't know what you're doing. But it is a cool option to have. 
And again, it allows you to combine stuff, uh, blend them together and make whatever you're looking for. Then let's move on. Eye color. Let's go to the start. I was a big fan of these. Uh, I think they found a, a good middle ground between, uh, let's just say, something that stands out a lot, but also looks realistic. Uh, you will notice, firstly, you can have the glazed over look, which is um, sort of a, a blind look. Uh, then you can have the, the pupil size and the pupil shape and stuff like that doesn't change much, but you can have a, uh, a lot of different colors here. And they do sort of stay closer to realism, but you will notice that there are some that look a little more out there. Uh, I, I I did notice a distinct lack of a a very blue blue, you know? I, I don't know if there's a law reason for that, but I, I immediately noticed that this is about as blue as it gets, uh, which is, again, more realistic, but it's a little weird, because, like, obviously some people like those those brighter colors. Uh, but, but, yeah, not much control over the eye itself. Uh, the eyebrows, I'm a big fan of how detailed they are. You can see the individual strands of hair. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. Bigger brows, smaller brows, thinner brows, more sparse brows. Once again, good representation there. Uh, let's just take this one, and then we'll have a look at the options. This is sort of just your, your, your overall brow up down it's a it's a pretty impactful choice once again because it sort of sets a mood for your character here's the backwards forwards that you will notice moves the 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 forehead quite a bit and you combine that with the forehead options and you've got like a you know a, a lot of movement going on there and then this is how wide or narrow they are these are important options uh, and i say that because they sort of choose how your character is going to feel <laughs> like whenever you're in a conversation or you look at a character, a screenshot of your character or a pose or whatever, this will set the, the tone quite nicely. You know, you can make your character look more inquisitive, uh, a little bit more serious, stern, something like that. It's, it's pretty important. Then the eyebrow colors, same hair colors as before. Uh, you get to choose all the same options. They are one to one, the same as the hair stuff that we chose which means nine is the one that matches our hairstyle but um yeah it's it's not a hugely impactful choice obviously because the eyebrows are smaller but you're going to want to pay attention to it regardless you're going to want to pay attention to it then forehead we have a bunch of different presets here i'm going to mention again and i'm not going to go through all of these but I'll mention again that as I select them, you will see... I'm not sure why the eyebrow color went back there now. I think I did that. Uh, you will see as we select them, the shape blend will change. So that's shape blend 1, that's 2, that's 3. And you can basically, from that, know that you can take this one combined with that one. You've got 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 together or whatever. And you can actually take a little bit of each of them and blend them together. But each of them looks a little different. And... You can sort of do with where, them what you wish. Some bigger, some smaller. It's kind of difficult to show these off. I just scrolled down accidentally. Uh, in their entirety. But I really feel like the forehead options here, they are some that, in my opinion, need to be combined with other stuff to get the most out of them. You can even see they give you some, some different skin textures and stuff here on them. But yeah. Again, you can take them and you can blend them together and, and sort of get what you're looking for by doing that as well. Uh, and then, as I showed you up here, you've got narrow and wide. Pretty big movement, by the way. Oftentimes, they have a slider, and you slide it, and it barely does anything. It's backwards and forwards. Again, pretty big movement. Like, <laughs> you can really tweak the aerodynamics here, which I, I, was, I, I was kind of impressed by. Again, I was kind of impressed by. Uh, nose. This is where stuff starts getting crazy, because you actually have multiple sort of pages of options here. But... We we'll look at the presets first, and I'm going to say the presets, you will notice as we go through here, they are combinations of the different shapes here that you can blend together. So we're not going to do the shape blend in, but I will just say you can combine them to, to make whatever you want. And they have some pretty radical looking schnozzes here. Big ones, small ones, uh, flat ones, long ones. It's pretty cool. I'll look at it from this angle. And with the options that they have here, 
it's always like a good measure to see how much the 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 devs respect you <laughs> i feel is how far you can take it can you break the game and the answer is yes yes you can so if you start taking these options here and you start moving them around here's up and down right uh you will see that if you do move them far enough and i'll show you that in just a moment but if you do move them far enough you can actually sort of start having it clip through the face Let's take this back. That's like the overall size. Nostrils. In and out. There we go. That's the ridge. So that's it. If you take them all one way or the other, you can you can be left with something pretty uh I don't want to say hideous, because <laughs> it might seem a little rude, but um, you can be left with something quite uh, significant. Uh, I have managed to break it with combinations of, like, basically, if you take it all this way, let me show you how it looks. Uh, I think that works, but you can you can make some stuff here that's, that's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, and I don't know if I'd say it's, like, really realistic <laughs> in a way, um, but, yeah, I mean, you can... <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know if that's realistic. I, I don't I don't think that that's a natural look at all. Um, but it's kind of nice. It's 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 once again, it's nice that they give you the option. Like I said, I, I see it as a sign of respect where you can sort of, yeah, they, they believe in you as a player and they allow you to just do whatever it is you want to do with this uh, and, and let that be that. It's nice. Sometimes the restrictions are too heavy uh, and and things end up Let's see if we can do something interesting with this. Being a little boring, you know? Things end up being a little boring. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's 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 fix that. Let's fix that. Okay? I'll take nose number there. All right? This one. Nose number this one. Okay, next up, ears. Also pretty big. Not not that they not that they are big. I mean, but the options are pretty big. I'll I'll leave. Uh, you know, we can look at the front first. You you get some pretty significant ears versus some pretty small ones or pretty natural looking ones, and you have a decent amount of control over them. Uh, once again, up and down, it moves quite far, uh, so you got to watch out. It's like if you accidentally slide this all the way over there and then you get in game and you see your ears are basically on your shoulders. Yeah, you're going to regret that. <laughs> Luckily, you can change it afterwards. Uh, but but yeah, you can have them stand out more. You can have them back or forward more. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah, decent options. And then once again, you can blend the shapes together and uh, come up with something that, that would work for you. That's blending these shapes here. But for this, let's just take normal looking ears. I don't even know what normal is at this point. <laughs> that's, that's the problem of going too deep. Cheeks. Let's have a look. Cheek options. It's kind of difficult to look at these. Uh, because you don't know if you want to be on the side or on the front. But you will notice, again, it does the upper and lower cheeks. So your cheekbones are, are definitely being moved around here. It sets how, not so much puffy they are, but basically how, how much they protrude. Uh, and it also, some of them give you different, not so much scars, but skin blemishes and stuff like that as well. So you look at that, you combine it with these options here. That's how narrow and wide it is. And, and honestly, if you look at this guy now, compared to how he looked when we started, it's already a completely different style, right? We've got something different here. You can puff it out more, uh, suck it in more, up and down. That's the cheekbones themselves. And then you can blend the shapes. And for real, there's a lot of really nice stuff that you can do here. I like this one with the mark on the on the cheek. And if you take it like a little bit further over there, you see the mark gets dimmer and you sort of blend in it with two. That's kind of nice. But yeah, for this, let's just take eight and let's move on. Mouth. Yeah, you can even do the teeth. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. This was very impressive to me. It's not often that they can make, or any game can make, the mouth and the lips actually feel very impactful. But here it does. There's, there's actually a lot of different options here. And there's a lot that you can do with this. 
to make it either suit your character or, or break the look entirely. <laughs> um, once again, you're going to want to pick the one you like here. Then you're going to want to hit these options up. And these options, they're pretty big. You know, you get a lot of movement here. You can do left and right, which I found really weird. Uh, like, it's, 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 it's kind of the first time I've ever seen this. You know, I've seen games that allow you to do what you could call a smirk, where you can curl the one side up. Uh, but but I've not before seen where you could just move it to the left or right. I, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's, it's welcome, but it's weird. Then you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, and then you can do the bite, which is, yeah, underbite or overbite. These are dangerous options. I'm just going to say, uh, you know, tread carefully when you're here. It's also really cool to be able to mix these together. You'll see like, you know, one with like less lips, this one, for instance. Uh, you can combine that with something like this one. And you will notice how subtly it changes as you as you go through it it's it's incredibly well done when i first jumped in here i thought the shape blends were sort of unnecessary but i really firmly believe that if you can mess around with it a little bit tinker with it you can find some really cool looking stuff there now teeth not a lot of options here <laughs> there's there's basically four of them i think you can have sort of pristine white a uh, little a little weathered very weathered and then you can have that uh, gruesome look. That's sort of to be avoided. I, I mean, I don't know, man. Teeth stuff. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it, guys. Stay away from these options. Okay? Stay, stay away. Jaw. Jaw. Let's zoom out a little bit for the jaw. Big option, this. Once again. I know it sounds like I say that about every one of them. That's just because all of these actually play a really big part in, in the, the, the fine-tuning process. Uh, you will see that the, the jaw, it's also very much the neck that you're working with. It's like the, the, the upper neck and lower jaw that you're fiddling with here. And uh, you can do all right with it. You're not going to get yourself like a, a, a full-on uh, David Coulthard sort of Brad Pitt style chin here. Uh, you can you can sort of get there if you combine all the options but right here alone um oh wait maybe i stand corrected that's actually pretty impressive get a real jug head going here oh yeah okay so i didn't look at this properly last time that's that's nice there we go yeah dude yeah 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 it's like we're making the protagonist of of wolfenstein <laughs> but this is this is massive so as an example, I said this is a big option. Just look at this one thing. The width. You can make it narrow, and you can pull it up. It's like a completely different dude. Completely different. I love it. And now again, you combine this with the body options, and man, you are set to make some pretty cool looking characters. You can go both ways. Like, you can make Christian Bale Batman, and Christian Bale from The Machinist. <laughs> you know, you can do anything you want here. And it's kind of sick. Uh, for those that are wondering, the middle, the default is in the middle. It's not on the left, it's in the middle. Oftentimes you like, you know, you think that's where the default is, but that's actually the one extreme versus the other extreme. So the shape blends uh, with the jaws, they are less impactful. I feel like these options are more here, but you can still combine them a little bit to, to sort of fine tune that last bit. Chin. Decent options here. The chin is another one of those options that you need to watch. It's sort of like a... A hidden killer of characters. <laughs> it's like if you pick a chin here and you're looking at your character from the front the whole time, uh, you, you could pick something and you could be like, um, yeah, 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 okay, okay. I, I think this looks pretty good. And then you can turn it to the side and you're like, whoa, <laughs> where did that guy come from? That's not me. Uh, you gotta you gotta watch out for it. Like the 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 chin, you have to look at. You have to keep an eye on that. You have to make sure you don't accident. Like look at your character from all the angles because like you know when you don't have a chin, man. Ooh, ooh, it's a hard life out there. It's a hard life out on the frontiers with no chin. So please, guys, guys, use the sliders responsibly. All right, there you go. So these are pretty good. Once again, nice movement here. The blends. Uh, as I've shown you many times before, you can combine the options of all of these different chin shapes. And there are lots of nice chin shapes here. You can get sort of like a 
a little bit of a double chin and and let me say i've actually i checked this specifically because i saw this here you can do the double chin you combine it with the body weight and it, it really sort of fleshes itself out it's cool it's it's incredibly well done they did a great job with it and 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 this also affects sort of like the jowls uh the the, the upper neck the the sort of the little bit that would hang there, you know, the, the little chicken skin, it, it affects it. You also get to pick an age. Uh, you will see that, uh, as an example here, the veins are more protruding. Uh, it's sort of a, a little more worn and weathered. It's really cool. Yeah, it's it's nice. Let's, let's give this guy a little bit more and make it a little wider, a little bit higher. It's nice. I'm a big fan of what they've done. You can get the cleft at the, at the front a little bit as well. Let's do the neck. The neck options, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I was quite surprised. Uh, I think that this is the most neck options I've seen in a game thus far. Uh, you are working on everything here from your Adam's apple, uh, to the type of skin that you have, to the amount of skin that you have, to the age of your character, to how much the veins are protruding. You can look at that, all the different textures and stuff here. It's pretty phenomenal. You know, on the surface level, you might think that this character creator doesn't have all that much in it, but when you really get like down to it and you start digging through these options, there's a lot. Here's the wattle. Uh, it's the, the jowls. You're working on basically how much there is or how little there is. Uh, you want to probably tuck that in on most characters. It depends on what you're making, obviously. Uh, here's how narrow or how wide it is. Um, I'm very happy about the fact that when you move this, the clothes doesn't move with it. Oftentimes that happens where your character and the clothes are sort of just stuck. They're welded together. That's not the case here. Uh, and then the blending, you can take these different options and blend them together. So if you want number 10 here, uh, which is eight over there, and you want to combine it with a more normal one uh, from, from here, you can take that one, uh, you pull that in, and then you combine it a little bit with that, and then the veins become slightly less visible, and yeah, you got to win. Next up, jewelry. I wasn't too impressed by the jewelry i would have been happy if they gave you more options in the game uh, i mean like you know you, you're playing a, a a massive open world rpg with character customization after creation uh, where you're going to be sort of you know changing your cosmetic appearance with outfits hats uh, and extras i hope that the game has more in it not so much specifically for the earrings but for things like tattoos and stuff it would be cool if there was more in the game I'll, I'll, I'll just say that straight up here. Uh, you do get options, and I mean, there's some interesting stuff here, but it's not all that significant, right? So the idea of having it is nice, but it is at this point a bit of an afterthought. You get to change the jewelry color. Uh, it's really not changing all that much. You can choose between a few golds and bronzes and like greens and blues and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's cool and it's a nice thing to have, uh, but it's not all that impactful. Overall, you sort of... Yeah, you sort of just get a little bit to work with here. Uh, there's there's more down below, like the tattoos that I mentioned, that you will see. I also feel like they could have done a little bit better with that. But maybe you do get to change that in the game. Speaking of doing better, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are, are ready for this. The dermastetic options are insane. So basically, these are your skin options. And... You can, I'm going to set the tens, intensity up. You can choose between, I think it's something ridiculous, like 70 of them. We're going to go through them now, but it's not just this, okay? So this is your skin texture, the look and feel of your skin, uh, the, 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 the aging, the blotching, the, the sort of weathering of it. But let me just say that below this, there's, there's, so, much, there's so much more. <laughs> this is just one menu of it. Okay, so know right now that as you customize in this, you can take this and layer it. Okay, there is much more. And, and it, 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 is, it is just insane to me how much they've put in here. And, and if you zoom in all the way, it's also insane to me how good it looks. The texture work is fantastic. The, the, I guess I would say the realism involved is, is really phenomenal. Uh, you, can, you can make yourself into whatever you like. You don't have to be a perfect Ken or Barbie doll. You can sort of, you know, you can do it all here. 
You may think like it's just a bunch of dirt on your face, but it's not like that because you can actually change the intensity. You can pick one that you like the look of. Uh, you can pick one that you think will fit and then you can slide that slider, you know? And you will see as we get further closer to the end, there are a bunch of different ones that have beauty spots, that have blemishes, that have bits and pieces. And again, you can combine this with stuff to, to make a certain aesthetic or look. And it's just... I, I don't know, honestly. I don't know why they have so many of these, but it's just... It's, it's pretty fantastic. Like, you want options. You don't want just options for the sake of options, of course. Like, you don't want artificial bloating. Like this, for instance, you get like a waxy looking skin. That's kind of cool. Uh, you don't want just options for the sake of options, but you want options, right? So, that's kind of cool. Now, complexion color, temperature. So, I mentioned earlier on, um, it would be cool if you could choose your skin color, a warmer one or a cooler one. This actually helps with that. It doesn't alleviate the problem or the issue that I mentioned there, uh, but it does help with that and you get to change things quite a lot. You can change the temperature here as well. Let me just change that max for this. Uh, and this also allows you to pick the vitiligo, which is kind of nice. I mean, it's it's sort of, a, it's become a, a norm, a standard uh, to, to have this in a game, which I like, by the way. Uh, and the options here look pretty good. They don't give you a huge amount of, of control over them, but you can pick it and that's that's nice, you know? Having it is good. And then complexion blemishes. We're going to set that up and you'll see what, what this is basically. These are basically your freckles and you can actually change the intensity to make them look more natural. And it really does look natural. That's amazing. Uh, but then you can also change the color. Uh, which I feel is pretty important. The menu is is super janky here. It's like they this like this menu should have been here or, or something like that. It's like a teeny weeny little one that you have to move for the color. But basically, um, we pick one here quickly like this one, and I'll show you the colors, and then we'll go through all the others afterwards. Like this is just it's a little difficult to control, but you will see you've got basically everything here: uh, greens, blues, pinks, purples. This this like cyan's here. It's really strange. It's strange how much they actually give you with it, but let's go through them quickly. You can see. And and you might think, oh, well, that looks like, that looks terrible. Who would ever pick this? But, dude, people will pick this because people look like this. Not like this, but like you can change it to be anywhere. I know people who have freckles all over their face, all over their bodies, and it looks amazing. And you get the option to do that. You get beauty spots in different places. varying amounts you get to change the color to make it look more natural once again it's just one of those where they put 50 options in where they could have put five in and that's amazing you get this which i don't know you guys can maybe correct me if i'm wrong but this is sort of like a electric shock that you got maybe or how, how does that kind of score appear i don't i don't know i'd love to hear from you guys if you know about it but there's options man there's options there's even that i don't i, I don't know exactly why this is here uh, but it can be combined with your facial hair. Uh, you can have double uh, stubble. Double stubble. Yeah, why not? So it's a lot. It's a lot. Scars. I'm in two minds about the scars. Some of them look kind of not so great. A little sort of, I don't want to say blurry, but a little smudged. But others look super gross and grisly, which is a good thing, by the way. As, as an example... This one, it's like, it's, it looks like someone took a element, like from a heater or whatever, and, and burned the scar on the face. It's not a slash scar, so it's like, it's different. I, I personally don't like the way these look so much. I like the deeper scars that, that regular games have, uh, but there are some other scars here that I feel look amazing. Other, you could call them rather skin blemishes that look amazing, uh, like these ones. You'll see it, it comes now. It's actually a little disturbing how good they look. It's a little disturbing. I, I don't know what that is, but it's fantastic. <laughs> you can do some really, really interesting stuff with your character here. It's cool. It's it's cool. And again, the detail on it is, is pretty amazing. Yeah. So, not a big fan of the regular scars, but the other stuff I like a lot. Uh, I think it's, it's really cool. Okay, next up. Facial forms. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Okay, intensity all the way. So, this is an interesting one because the name doesn't really tell you what it is, but these are extras. 
that can make your character look older, more tired, more weather-worn, um, that can just put a little bit of definition in. Smile lines, you know? Uh, cleft chin. Uh, there, look at that. Crow's feet. I mean, like, serious crow's feet. Uh, cracked lips. You know, everything. It's, it's kind of amazing how much they actually give you. Like, acne scars. Uh, it, it's cool. It's cool. Once again, just sort of... Wow. <laughs> that is some of the best wrinkle work I've ever seen. It looks great. It looks great. The shading, the depth. It's just, it's fantastic. Really, really cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Super. And once again, you can sort of also change the, the, the amount. It does it so well. Like, look at that. Look at this guy. Look at him. And then you take it away and it's like, boom. And you can do two of them. So you can actually take that one that we just had there uh, with the wrinkles and check the intensity quickly. Hold on. There you go. You can take that one that you had there with the wrinkles and then you can combine it the one we saw at the start uh, that had the eyes that looked so old or the crow's feet or whatever. Um, and you can sort of just, yeah, boom, boom, boom. You can, you can really make your character look uh, like anything. Young, old, scarred, uh, flawless. Now we come to the tattoos. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. There are some cool tattoos. I like them. But I personally feel like the tattoo options are very limited. Now, I have not played the game yet. I would like to point that out. I would love to be playing the game right now, of course. I mean, <laughs> I cannot wait. But I don't know if there's stuff in the game. I would be so happy if I heard that the game had options in the game where you could get sort of like, I mean, maybe like faction specific. There's the tattoo under the hair over there. Faction specific tattoos. Uh, let me take the hair off quickly and show you. Or, or basically just tattoos that um, can, can be picked up through not so much achievements, but exploration or something like that. You know, tattoos that you can find. Huh? That would that would be cool. It would be cool if you could get tattoos out in the world uh, and, and have a better selection than this. Because this is not a great selection, okay? The colors, there's, there's some colors here, but it's also a little disappointing. I'm going to say straight up, I feel like the tattoos are a bit of an afterthought, but it's whatever. I mean, at least they give you the choice. And there are some that I feel could look good if used correctly. Uh, I think that the colors that they have there would probably look better on darker skins, but on lighter skins, you could probably make something work because they have a lot of lighter colors there. Next up, cheeks. So, the cheek options, this is your blush. These are... Yeah, yeah these are... These are yeah. <laughs> there's, there's some options here. Um, you will notice this is the lower cheek, and then the bottom one is the upper cheek, and you can change the color of it. It's some clown nonsense here. Okay, you can do some good stuff with it, but it's again one of the points where I'm like, why the hell are there so many choices here? <laughs> why did you put this in here, but you only put like 10 tattoos in? And, and, and like all these colors here, and then on the tattoos you don't have like barely any choices. So like this is one of those places where I will question what they did a little bit. But maybe maybe the cheek lady or the cheek guy who made this was very enthusiastic and they made a bunch. Uh, this is the upper one. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I'm not going to nitpick this. I'm just, I'm just mentioning that uh, there's a lot of options here versus the amount that you have on the other stuff, and it's, it's a little jarring. It's kind of crazy, actually. So there you go. That's basically it. Not a huge amount, but you have some options to mix and match there. Lipstick. Let's put the intensity up for this. There you go. I like the lipstick. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, there's lipstick accents as well, which I'll get to in just a moment. And... Thank the gods, they allowed you to put the lipstick on the men. They allowed you to change this any which way. Good. Good. Like, there's, there's no two ways about it. Good. Uh, you don't want to limit this based on the character that you make. And everyone should get all the lipstick. Like, in which world can a guy not pick up the lipstick and just put it on his face? Yeah, dude. We're exploring space here. Let us explore ourselves, too. Come on. It's good. Fantastic. Like, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Good job on the lipstick, Bethesda. Well, well done. Let's look at the accents quickly. Uh, these are extra. You, you. It's like it's a bit difficult to see, but let's take. The, I mean, I wonder. I wonder if I can do this quickly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's a bit difficult to see if you have the one on and not the other. Uh, so it's little bits and pieces, little extras. Uh, I, I'm not sure about this, but 
basically i think the way this is is that it's for combining colors so if i take as an example this one here and then i take uh, the base let's say uh black and you can have sort of whatever that is going on <laughs> it's kind of terrible i know i know i know it's no it's not, it's not kind of terrible no 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 let me get this straight it's really terrible uh but you can do it yeah and and believe you me there are people out there that can make fantastic looks with stuff like this for real I just found some characters in Baldur's Gate 3's Act 3 uh, that that had the most amazing makeup on their face. I hadn't seen it anywhere in the game. And then right at the end of Act 3 in some water temple, I found these characters that have this amazing makeup. And I was like, wow, that's what you can do with it. And it's the same situation here. It's like you, you, you sort of just brush past this because you don't know you know how to make it work but if you spend a bit of time on it you can do some really cool stuff uh, the eyeshadow is nice it's sort of subtle you can put on a lot you can put on less uh, it's nice it's not bad but the, the color is the biggest choice that you make here because the color as you can see it really brings it out you can make your character look pretty fabulous with this once again a lot of colors here uh, you get all the choices and it's nice yeah it's gonna be a why not lower there you go. Hold on. Pretty cool. It looks... I want to say it looks natural. It looks good. Uh, these these choices that they have. Once again, they're makeup artists and character models and stuff. Pretty great. Uh, let's take one quickly and look at the colors. So that you can see. Decent choice. Decent selection. It's fantastic. And if you take these, you combine them with the different uh, lipsticks, with the different tattoos, different everything, you're going to come away happy. I think you'll come away with some stuff that you'd really like. Then eyeliner. Yes, there's a difference between eyeshadow and eyeliner. <laughs> I don't... Dude, in my time making character creation videos, I've learned so much about makeup. So much. Let's change the color quickly, though, so you can see it. There you go. Things that I didn't know before. Some pretty cool stuff here. Interesting stuff. Uh, you can change the color, as I mentioned. So I'll just show you what the colors look like quickly. Let's go over here. Same as the uh, eyeshadow. Same colors. So you can have nice combinations here. I feel like you could probably make a nice little rainbow if you'd like or you could make a nice little combination of like uh, different cold colors like all the different shades of blue or you could go from like white all the way through to blue uh, using things like cyans or whatever it's yeah there's cool stuff you can do yes eyeliner lower let's just turn the intensity up quickly and put the color over on the black one and again it's nice that you can put all of it on like if you take this and you combine it with this one it's kind of cool right it's kind of cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're going for with this, but it's kind of cool. Uh, the colors, same as the ones we just looked at. Lots of choices. Lots of choices. Lots of choices. There you go. And then our final option is dirt. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that you can do. You thought that the dirt was uh, this stuff over here? No, no, that wasn't the dirt. This is the dirt. <laughs> and this is real dirty. You can you can sort of go anywhere with this. Like really anywhere. You'll see now what I mean. So if you pick one, let's take this one because it's quite busy. You can change the color. I say you can go anywhere, but look, <laughs> you, can, you can sort of... And, and this is, by the way, for those that don't know, uh, the way this works is they give you the lighter colors for the darker skin tones, the darker colors for the lighter skin tones. Um, you, you can sort of pick and choose. And let me tell you, I've tried before making a combination of a very dirty face with the derma aesthetic with like with like a, a very withered look and stuff like that. It can get pretty intense. You can have a lot going on on the face. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Uh, the intensity, once again, can help you with, with sort of making it look more realistic or, or whatever. But yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Distinct lack of things like face paints here. Uh, but eh, it's all right. Honestly, I think it's fine. Uh, they give you a lot of other stuff that you can combine, sort of work with, uh, to make a decent looking 
character. But that brings us to the end of the male customization. So we're going to go back. We're going to pick body type 2. And we're going to jump in. Female. We start in with this lovely lady right here. And as I mentioned at the start of the male, you can change your skin tone when you're busy selecting your body options. The skin tone is there as well. Uh, you will also have a bit more control of the skin tone later. Uh, you will see further down. But these are the options. They are good. You can, you can go pretty light. You can go pretty dark. They are more on the warmer side of things. But that's fine. That, that looks good. That's, it's, it's good for this. It's a, it's a good fit for the game. Then, head shape. This is probably your biggest option here. Along with maybe the hair which is coming up next. The head shape. You combine this with the body options. Your weight of your character and everything else. And then you can you can make yourself who you want to be. This is where you make yourself who you want to be. Because <laughs> this, is, this is a pretty big deal. Now, before I move this around here, I'll just show you the presets. The presets are actually just different combinations of what you can do here. But I will say that if you take one of these presets and then you move it around, you can go more extreme. So if you take a thinner preset or a bigger... This one has like basically a bigger jaw. And then you go for like a square there. You can get even more out of it. Uh, so, always do both. Always go for the presets, then you refine it with uh, with whatever the sliders are that they have. It's best. It's best if you want to be thorough. So, again, if you move around fast here, you can see there's some really good movement on the face. Like, they, re <laughs> they really move the bones around for this. Uh, it's not superficial stuff. You actually have big things changing. You actually have the entire look and feel of your character uh, just moving around as you slide this and that's awesome it's awesome there's there's so much to say about this and so much to do with these sliders it's fantastic now my favorite part the hair always my favorite this is the same as the male hair i like front loading that i like saying that right off the bat uh, the one difference is that you don't get to combine this with uh, facial hair which is sad but it's fine it's fine I also, on that note, didn't see a spot to choose your um, pronouns, like how they address you, but I, I think that's based on the body that you choose. So, Or maybe the game manages to go all the way through without addressing that. That would be cool. I mean, why acknowledge it? Who cares? <laughs> you can just be, hey guy, hey dude, hey bro. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's about as unisex as it gets. It's fine. But no, I, I do think it's based on your body type. Just I'm just putting that out there. So the hairstyles, uh, I've spoken pretty in depth about how I feel about hair and and the look and feel of of the textures and and what they do with the different styles, like the afros and and the longer hair and stuff like that. And my my overall consensus here, where where Starfield's concerned, is that it's good. And the quality is there, but I do think that they could do with slightly longer, more slightly longer styles, a, a bigger collection of longer styles. They've got the representation down. They, in my opinion, have the texture work and the detail on the hair down 100%. It looks awesome. And I mean, for a Bethesda game, this is like, it's, just, it's another level. Like you compare this to Fallout 76, it looks phenomenal. They've done awesome with this. Uh, but I do feel like there are less long styles than I would have liked. Um, but eh, it's whatever, there's enough. On top of that, I do feel like um, it would be cool. <laughs> this is the style. It gets me every time. It would be cool if you had a bit more control over the highlights, the colors that you pick. Because, it's again, it's quite curated in that sense. You'll see now when we jump into the hair color. Uh, it's, it's quite curated in that they custom make the highlights for you. So... Uh, all of these colors look amazing. And the person that chose these colors, they did good. I mean, the the, the, the redder, the warmer colors, the, the cooler, the blues and the greens and stuff are awesome. Uh, they even have a bunch of different blacks, which, which all look a little different from one another, which is really nice. But, you know, you don't really get to fine-tune it, as you did in, as an example, Baldur's Gate. 
uh, but you can't do everything. You can't have everything. Uh, so, I mean, if you have to pick and choose, I think they made the right choices. They've got a pretty robust system here with decent options. But, like, these styles, as an example, where they start getting a bit louder with the colors. And this this color, I can't get over this color. It looks so nice. Uh, but these ones where they start getting a bit louder with the colors, they, they really do look good. But you don't really get to choose. So if you, if you wanted to have, like, a, a lighter blue, maybe, then you're sort of stuck with that, right? If you wanted a, a, a deeper pink or something like that, then you wouldn't really, you know, and then, like, the same with the greens. You know, if you wanted maybe, like, a paler green or a, a greener green, uh, you are going to struggle a little bit to find it. But I will still say, overall, I think it's an awesome system. And I think that the most important part is that it looks and feels good. There's no hair physics to speak of here. It's sort of static. It's sort of stuck there where it is. Like if you fiddle with your character like this, it doesn't really change much. But um, I, I, I think that because of it looking as good as it does, it's perfect. It's perfect. Like the dreads and the, and the afros and stuff, you may notice that they look slightly worse. I don't know if worse is even the word, but they don't have quite as much detail as something like Hogwarts Legacy or maybe Baldur's Gate, but they do look good and they, they nailed the feel of it. So I'm, I'm personally quite happy with it. I'm pretty picky when it comes to hair, right? So for the purposes of this, I, I want to pick something that looks sort of feminine, okay? Uh, but I want to pick something that doesn't cover our face too much. So let's take this one. And then let's do the color. Uh, let's take a let's take a black. Oh no no no! You know what? We like we like reds and browns. Uh, let's take that beautiful that one. It's kind of nice. You will notice also as an example on this hairstyle, uh, you do see a lot of extra color coming in that you don't always see. It's as if you go on like a smaller style on the lower, uh, the shorter styles, you don't see the roots as much as on the long styles. And you go on the longer ones, you see the brown roots growing out there. It's, it's kind of a nice look and feel. I like it. This maybe doesn't look that great for the customization. I don't want to be distracting with it. Uh, let's go for that. That's a beautiful color. Very deep and dark. Eyes. Nice options here. Big deal. Important. Pay attention. <laughs> there you go. Primer done. Uh, you you got you to gotta pay attention here. These, these options are significant. Uh, they they basically <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna sort of tailor the way your character looks when you're looking at it is your character gonna be serious is your character gonna be stern is it gonna be sort of more carefree uh, you know a little happier looking a little more curious this is all the stuff that you're gonna change here also you're looking at ethnicities here uh, you're looking at the uh, the whole lot of it it's it's all jumbled in there the way this works because we're just jumping into this now is you have the the presets and these are important you pick a preset then you can use the shape blending option to combine the different presets so we have this one over here that's number six you can see here because of the six being fully uh, extended but basically what you can do is you can pull that all the way down and then you're back on default. Then you can pull that in and it blends the default one with a six. But if you like, oh yeah, well, you know, I like I like number seven as well. Then you can go half six and half seven. And honestly, it's 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 pretty cool how they combine them. And if you're like, oh, well, I want six, seven and eight. I'm being a little greedy here. Then you can be greedy and you can just throw all three of them in there. But beware, it doesn't always look great. Uh, so this blending system awesome for fine tuning but it really is fine tuning and you have to i will say work pretty hard to make it do something so you can find two that you really like we can say oh yeah you know i i kind of like how worried number nine here looks which is number eight over there but i'd like to combine it with the let's say the slant of six so we go for eight and we take the six and we drag it in a little bit so the eyes get a bit smaller. You'll see the eyelids come down a little bit and you are presented with a nice combination where you have the slightly more hollow, <laughs> I want to say hollow shell-shocked look, but you combined it with something that might look like a more Asian style of eyes. And that's, that's sick. There's so much you can do with this. I combine them and I think to myself, this is almost exactly like what you get in GTA and Red Dead. I mentioned this on the male side of things where you work in with like the heritage you know, you're picking, this is what dad looks like. Uh, dad's, yeah, you know what? Dad's a four. And yeah, if you're a dad, aren't we all fours, right? Because <laughs> when you combine it with the mom, who's definitely a nine, 
then you get something completely different. So you take the four and you put it together with a nine and then there you go. That's what your kid's going to look like. Heritage. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I, I like the system and I think they implemented it really well. Oftentimes they put stuff like this in and it does nothing. Here, it works. So we'll take that for now. We're going to leave these eyes on. I'm going to show you what these sliders do. These are pretty impactful as well. You, you sort of just moving the eyes around a little bit. That's wider and narrower. Uh, here's the up and down. Uh, up and down being... You'll see here, it's it's the scale up, bigger, down, smaller. Let's take big eyes. Uh, back and forward, minimal movement, but enough to be seen. And then here's the up and down. So that's the that's the actual position on the head. Let's take the big eyes, because why not? And then we'll move down to the eye color. I had a bit to say about the eye color. I, I like it. Uh, I, I think that they've got good options. And I mean, I think that honestly, when you zoom in and you look at the detail on the eyes, it's just mind blowing. It looks amazing. Uh, I, I really hope that it translates and carries over into the game itself. Uh, but I was not super impressed by the choices for colors. Uh, you, you have this, you can sort of have the, the blind look um, and, it, and it's nice having the, the, the cloudy uh, sort of more... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, I want, I want to say the more cloudy look, yeah, but like I, that is pretty much how it would look if it's blind, right? Yeah. So it's nice having that option. Uh, but when you look at the other options, you don't get any control over unrealistic stuff. You're not having shaped pupils. You're not getting uh, demon eyes or something like that. But then it's kind of strange because the colors, they do stray a little bit from realistic colors. As an example, you get these ones here, which look like fiery eyes or something. Then there's no blue. <laughs> I was, I was I was just curious why is there no why is there no blue eyes like the closest you get for blue is like uh, that one which is more realistic but mm, you know you know what I'm saying it's kind of strange but again this is the kind of thing that they could easily not so much rectify but work on by just adding stuff in the game later you know let's take the red eyes uh, just because we want to be interesting uh, and why not we want to stare back at them but that's the eye options they're pretty cool uh, the, the the eyes quality looks great and i i firmly believe that you have enough choices there to work with eyebrows funny enough one of my favorite sections uh, just because i i really like the detail on the eyebrows when you zoom all the way in here there's a lot going on i i i really don't know how the artists do this do they have like a, a model in front of them and then they use a little brush and they like paint on every single individual strand? I, I couldn't say. But whatever they do, it looks great. These are some of the best eyebrows in video games. I don't think that they go quite as bushy as I would have liked. <laughs> but it is more on the realistic side of things. And, you know, you do have uh, overall a more groomed appearance, you know. It's, it's fine. It looks nice. Uh, once you've chosen the one you want here, let's take that one. Uh, you can change these options. That's the, the width, narrow or wide. Uh, you can go forward or back. Let me do this quickly and show you what it looks like. That's that's encroaching on forehead territory, so just watch out what you do here if you combine it with the forehead options. Then you can go up and down. Uh, and, and again, these sort of change the look and feel of your character's face quite a bit. Uh, you can make yourself look slightly more serious or stern by bringing it down, uh, slightly more curious uh, by taking it up. Eyebrow color. This is very much in line with the hair color. So if I want to take the same color as my hair, I'll go all the way over to the end. That's the same color as the hair. You might not be able to see it very well because the hair is quite dark, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, but the eyebrow colors, yeah, you get to pick them. Uh, the lighter colors do look better on darker skins. And that's just how it is. They're not that visible on the lighter skin. Uh, but you do get a bunch of options here, and it's it's all the exact same ones that you'd have on the hair. So that's pretty much all you could want, right? There's no real reason to have more than that. So let's pick the same one, and let's keep going. Forehead. Here we are. As we start with the sculpting now, I'm going to say, keep in mind that any one of these options could do a lot of different stuff if combined with any other option. So if you combine the forehead with the brow stuff that we just changed, just know that you could get something significant out of that. Uh, I was very impressed by this. There's a lot of movement, which is good. Let's do it sideways. And by movement, I mean you're actually changing a lot with every choice here. As with all the other stuff that have the blends, uh, you can take sort of number one and then you can take number eight and you can blend them together to get a, a halfway between point uh, or you know anything else that you'd like 
there's a lot that you can do here and it's pretty cool it's pretty impressive then you get to change this which is very impactful <laughs> you can you can do a lot with this one uh, and it's nice actually i feel it's nice how it moves your hairline uh, quite neatly with it it doesn't stretch and contort things to make it look unnatural it's it's neat and tidy which is awesome it looks good when you stretch it uh, then back and forward once again this is a dangerous one please be careful with this you could just see this as the aerodynamics option you know <laughs> it's like there you go man uh get a bit of resistance or or gotta go fast you know whatever but again big choices uh, and you can take these and combine them and please note as well that here as an example we've got like wrinkles and stuff like that that you get in uh, you got some other stuff that sort of combines with what you're working with here and you can throw that in together with the skin options, uh, the the aging options, the blemishes and scars and stuff like that to make a look. And with all these options together, you can combine them. This is number five, the one with the wrinkles on the forehead. If you take that and you combine it with one and you drag it over, then you'll see the wrinkles fade a little bit. Then you only got half wrinkles and half of number one. It's amazing. It's It's really quite well done. It's cool. Lots and lots of options. I think that if any game out there was going to say, oh, we have over a million combinations, it would probably be this one because that would be true. They, they didn't. They didn't say that. They didn't use that as like a sales pitch, but they could use that. Or did they say that? I don't know. Either way, they could say that and it would be true because there's a lot going on here. Now, noses. This is the place where you can do some serious wrong. <laughs> there's some big damage you can do here. Uh, look out. Go slow. Go easy, guys. Please. Please, sculpt responsibly. So, basic presets and sliders. Sliders, yeah, let me just say, <laughs> they, they can do a lot. What I will do is I'll show you what they do, what they, can, what they can change, like this. Then I will move them all the one way and all the other way, and I'll show you how it looks. It's impressive. Uh, I, I, I mentioned on the male side, you can break the game here. Like, you can actually have the noses. If you have the right combination, uh, if you have, like, a, a bigger face uh, with a bit more mass on it, uh, and, then you, and then you make the nose, like, really big or really small, then you will notice that you can actually have it clip through the face and stuff like that. And <laughs> I, I always dig it when they give us that kind of control uh, because, yeah, I mean, let people have fun. Let people do what they want to do. That's the bridge, or right. oh, the ridge, and then you can actually scroll down here, in and out. So let me show you what I meant. Uh, if I go basically to the top here, and I go all the way to this side, you might not see much yet, but you'll see when I move everything over. <laughs> you, can, you can do some pretty interesting stuff here. Okay, you take that. It's not too bad, actually, I've got to say. And then you combine it with these ones. Oh, no, no, wait, it reset it. Okay, wait, let's pick one of these, rather. Like, let's pick this one as an example. Uh, and then let's go this way quickly. There you go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like we, we're making a beak. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And if you go all the way up, it's actually much more, uh, much more severe. Let me show you. Much more severe. I mean, like, my, my, much more severe. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, actually. I, I enjoy this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having fun. Uh, to not reset it, you, you pull these up. There you go. See? <laughs> like, that's, that's pretty insane. Oh, go back there, please. That's pretty insane. So, yeah. Um, guys, get sculpted in. Get sculpted in. Make those characters. I want to see the most hideous amalgamation you can put together by the end of the week, please. Have it on my desk. <laughs> there you go. All right. I mean, like, who wouldn't? Let's be real now. Let's be real. Who wouldn't? Okay. Back to one. Let's not get distracted here, please. He says to himself. Did I mess this nose up? Did I mess one up? Oh, I'm on the forehead. Hold on. I think I might have. Why do all the noses look weird now? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the normal one? What did I do to the noses? Oh no. Oh no. Quickly reset it. We don't want this we don't want this distracting us when we're doing the rest of the options. There we go. 
much better. Okay, she's looking human again. We were we were pot poor sign for a little while there. Okay, ears. Ah, we're gonna have to change the hair. That's fine. Uh, we'll use this ears. We can see the ears now. So the ear options. Uh, also, got to be careful with this. This is one of those things that you like. You like look at it from the front, and you're like, oh yeah, this looks good. And then you create your character, and then you see your character from the side in the game, and then boom, it hits you, and you feel nothing but regret. You got to watch out with the ear options. They're not too radical, uh, but they can be. So if you if you take these options up here, uh, you can actually make them pretty pretty wide. Uh, you can make them pretty forward and you can and you can push them high or low and I mean yeah you can go with some different options here to sort of blend them together and have a even more extreme look but I'm gonna leave that to up to you guys you you guys yeah ha have fun with this I'm I'm gonna I'm go back to option number one and I'm gonna put everything back uh, in the middle <laughs> there's a lot of choices you can make here so uh, yeah slide responsibly guys cheeks Pretty cool options. I, I enjoyed the cheeks on the male side uh, because they were impactful. Uh, they made the character look and feel a certain way with every slide that you that you slid. And it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's the same thing here, where if you bring the cheekbones up, it changes the entire uh, structure of, of the face in, in such a way that you can really, really, really see it. And when you look at the character after you've moved that stuff around, it looks like a different person. It's kind of cool, right? It's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, you got the you got the scale. You got the width here, as you can see, and you got the height. So we can go for higher cheekbones, but you also got to be careful. Just look at it from all the angles here, because this is one that you can mess up quite easily as well. Uh, and then the options over here, they blend together all the different stuff that you have. Be careful with them, though. You can also combine this. It's important to note. You can combine this with your body options, the weight of your character, and so on and so forth to make some different stuff, right? So just keep that in mind as well. But yeah, it's pretty cool options. Pretty cool. There you go. Mouth. Cool stuff here. I like mouth. <laughs> yeah. So with the mouth options... You actually have stuff that I feel looks realistic and changes uh, pretty dramatically from one to the next. Uh, there are some options here, if I zoom in all the way, that I feel like I've never seen in games before. And these are, once again, something that are very unique between the male and the female characters. There are options on here that you will not see on the male side, and there are options on the male side that you won't see on the female side. It's kind of cool how they did that. And you can, again, with this as an example, see that it affects more than just the mouth. It's the entire surrounding area. Uh, there's a lot that gets sculpted by it. And it's, once again, very cool to combine them. If you take, as an example, I feel like this one is the most standout-ish. So we take eight and we combine it with, let's say, two. And you can make eight look slightly less extreme. You can have those smile lines there, but less of it. Uh, and, and, yeah. You, you can sort of be a little bit more reserved. Or you can go all the way. You can throw that on, throw some wrinkles on, and maybe you've got an old lady or something like that. Uh, it's really cool. Once again, this blend-in option, it's the kind of thing that I looked at initially and I really didn't think would do much for me. And I, I really didn't think I would care about all that much. But after spending a little bit of time with it, yeah, man, I, 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 I love it. And you must also look for, at this from the side because you will see the lips move around a little bit on these. Uh, different look and feel on each of them. Let's take this one for now, and then I'll show you what these are. You got your under and overbite. Pretty significant. You can all Bart Simpson this if you want to, or uh, <laughs> go a little zug zug. Scale. That's basically just the size. Also important. Uh, you got left and right, which I, I think I think this is new to me. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen this in a character creator before, where you can actually just go straight left or right. It's it's really weird. Uh, I mentioned that, yeah, I've seen like a smirk on the left side versus on the right side, but I've never seen actually moving the mouth left or right. Then you can move up or down. And again, with all the different combinations here, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's nice. T. 
Keith. Yeah, no. Stay away from these. <laughs> you can have white, white, white. You can have some uh, yellow in. Uh, you can have some rotten teeth. And then you can have that. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, please. Don't smile at me like that. I, <laughs> I have nothing for you. Okay, jaw. I like jaw options. This is where you do the real chiseling and fine tuning. Let's go through these options quickly. See what they look like. Uh, you will notice most of what happens happens at the back. So if I turn it a little bit, you'll see more of what's happening. It's sort of there by the ears. The uh, the the lower and back jaw changes, not so much the front, because you're going to change that on the chin. Uh, but you can combine this, if you look at it from the front, you combine these options quite nicely. Uh, let's say maybe the square jaw like this, with the width up here, to do some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you can you can go big. You can go small. Or you can just put it right there. Because, let's be real, you can ruin it all. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> please, please. I've seen some of the characters you guys make. God. They should not exist. Okay, there you go. And then up and down. Uh, very cool. Lots of fine tuning to be done here. And again, the combination of the presets that they have with the sliders and the blending, it's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like, that's the word I'd use. There's so much you can do here. The chin. Uh, just as important as the jaw. There are a lot of cool options here. I actually think it might be more important. And this is, I always say that the chin is a bit of a danger zone on the face. I always say this. It's like, it's the one part of a face that can catch you off guard. And how cool is this? How cool is that? You can have so many different options here. Uh, they, they have age factored in. They have uh, sort of wear and tear factored in. They have conditions factored in. They have so much in here. You get like basically a look at when we get to the neck, for instance, you have more veins, you have more Adam's apple, you have more this, you have more that. It's so cool. They do so much. But let's just put on the default one quickly and let's look at the sliders. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, the width, not such a big deal, but this one... You gotta watch out with this one. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, you're making a beautiful character here and you're like, oh yeah, okay, jeez, man, I've got a Kristen Stewart here or something like that. Oh, Carrie Ann Moss from The Matrix? Okay, yeah, yeah. And then you get in game and you're like, oh, crap, I think I made Michael Sarah instead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael Sarah, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, man. I'm just saying, you watch out, because like when you look at it from the front, you don't see it, but then you turn to the side and you're like, whoops, yeah, I did that. Pretty good. Nice options. Fantastic. And again, the blending. Uh, you can blend them all together, all these different styles, and you can make something really cool. Again, like the, the way that they support uh, slightly older characters, uh, slightly more weather-worn characters, rough and tumble stuff on the face. It's awesome. Next up, the neck. This is also really cool how they've done this. So, uh, the presets. I say it's really cool because you get wrinkles on the neck, uh, you get veins on the neck. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more for you. And, uh, yeah, you, you, you've got a lot of options. And again, the way you combine it is, is pretty simple and satisfying. Like, as an example, I take 8 here, and I'm like, yeah, I want my character to look a little older, but I don't want it so much. So then we just combine it with the default one at 1, and then it's half gone, and it still looks great. It's super. Then, here we have the wattle in and out. Uh, that's it's basically your jowls. This is this is a, a pretty big one here, um, and I've checked it out. I've combined it with your body weight option, and it's it's fantastic how much it actually moves that around. It's really cool, really really cool. Uh, then your width of the of the uh, neck, pretty cool as well. That's good, and then you can blend them, so you can take one and mix it with the other, as I showed you. Jewelry. We're moving on to the more cosmetic stuff now. I, you know, it's been a while since I've been thoroughly impressed by jewelry in a video game, okay? I will admit Baldur's Gate let me down a little bit with the jewelry in it. Uh, I, I think that probably the most impressive jewelry I've seen in the last couple of months has been Diablo 4. And Diablo 4, yeah, I mean, those characters look great, and the jewelry looks fantastic in it. Um, but these options, uh, they are an afterthought. Okay, you don't get to go overboard. You'll see there's some rings up there and some rings down there. You don't get to go overboard with them. You don't get to do all that much. Uh, it's interesting. It's it's something, but for real, it's it's just yeah, it's okay. It's all right. 
Then the color, uh, you get to pick this on all of them. The color is pretty nice. Uh, there are some decent colors here. But this is the kind of option where I really feel like they could have done a bit better. Or it would be cool if they gave you stuff in-game that you could change. That would be sick. Then, Derma Aesthetic. This is cool. <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you may have noticed like the beauty spots and stuff like that on the character. Yeah, that's part of the Derma Aesthetic. When you pick one, you can change the intensity. Uh, so just know any of these can be combined with any others. Because uh, you'll you'll know, well, with any other options, you'll notice when we get to the complexion stuff. Uh, and then the intensity can be changed as well. So you can see how, how much or how little it is. So as an example, that's pretty extreme, right? Looks like I got pig skin or something. Uh, but then I can go over here and I can just pull it down a little bit. And you can have just a little bit of blemishes. A little bit of that color. A little bit of that uh, texture on your skin. And it could be something. You know, it can be a, a part of your overall look. But I'll show them all to you with full intensity so you can see what you're working with. There are a lot of options. There really are a lot. Uh, and, and I mean, this is one of the places where I feel like they might have had a bit too much repetition. So there might have been a few too many options here that are the same. Uh, that, are, that are similar. But is there ever really such a thing as too much? Uh, in, in, in a case like this? No, no. I will say maybe it could have been cool if they spent a bit of the time that they spent on this, on tattoos rather, uh, because there's not really that much in terms of tattoos, but it's still cool. You know, you get to pick different spots, different blemishes, different marks, different what looks like dirt uh, or, or sunburn or whatever, uh, and you can make a, a pretty interesting look. And, and for real, a lot of these combinations, I think, could be thrown together to make something that looks basically like a ghoul or a zombie. I'm telling you now, if you take this, combine it with some of the scars, change the skin color a little bit, throw some uh, blush and makeup on there, you can make yourself into something like that. Uh, easy peasy. You'll look like a character from Fallout 4, okay? Uh, and it's it's awesome. And and for instance, this one, you can see, is, is pretty well tailored to an older skin, maybe, uh, and it can be combined with that quite successfully. It's nice. It's really, really nice. There's, there's, there's so much you could possibly do with this. And, and like, I came and I sat down here to look at the options and I was like, I was blown away by the fact that they have 70 different Derma aesthetic options. The inclusivity is off the charts in this one. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, you got choices there. You got the intensity as well. Then, uh, complexion, color temperature. The intensity here is pretty important as well. Um, this is, again, I was saying you can make yourself look like a ghoul. Let me show you what I mean. So if you take this, you combine some of these slightly darker ones. Where are they? There you go. Like like these ones. You can really do it because you get different colors. And in combination, like as an example, that one, in combination with the complexion color, it's, it's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. Uh, and, and I mean, this is supposed to be sort of like where you set the, the temperature because it's, it's temp, but it, it, it does look a little strange how it's, it's sort of splotchy. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but uh, it might just be the lighting or something. I don't know. Uh, then it, as you go further here, you get to change your, you get to select some vitiligo options. It's cool. It's nice. These are nice. Uh, and they look better, I feel, on the darker skin tones, but they look kind of good here too. And yeah, overall, nice options. Decent selection. Uh, then we have blemishes. I'm going to set the intensity up. Blemishes is stuff like freckles as well. So as you're looking through this, please just consider the fact that that's not what it really looks like. If you don't want it to, you can change the intensity. You can make it more subtle, which is... If I had to make something, I'd probably do this, right? You can also change the color. But let me show you what they look like on full intensity first. So you can see where you can put all the different uh, freckles and stuff like that. You can basically cover the entire face. There's beauty spots here as well. And there's all sorts of other options. And then on top of that, you can change the color, which we will jump into in just a moment. Once again, this is one of those situations where they have like 50 options here. And you're like, why? <laughs> well, I mean, why not? Uh, I, I, I sort of question marked this one before. And there's a few more at the end of it where I wasn't entirely sure what that was. In other words, I didn't know if that was maybe uh, uh, something... Uh, a scarring or a, a complexion change that comes from like electric shock or something like that. I don't personally know what that is or if it's some like weird disease with veins or something, but uh, it, it looks cool. It looks really cool. And then if you want to, you can change the color. Oh, whoops, not there. You can change the color. 
Uh, there are a few different color choices that are interesting here. You can have darker ones, lighter ones. Uh, once again, this is mostly just because you want to look at it on different skin tones. And on certain skin tones, it might look better, lighter, you know? Scars. I am straight up not a big fan of the, the style of scars that they do in this game. So I don't know if you guys would consider this a more realistic looking scar, but they don't go for the the deeper look of, again, example would be Baldur's Gate or Diablo maybe. Um, they go for like a, what looks like a burn mark instead of a scar. Like it looks like someone took three elements in that shape and, you know, where they, you can't really see the, the cut so much. I don't know. I don't know if this is more realistic. I'd love for you guys to weigh in on that as well. Uh, I think in certain situations it looks great. Like here it looks really nice because it's it's sort of squashed up. But I feel like on as an example on these, they're too wide, you know? They 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 might be better if they were skinnier and not so not so big. But some of the other stuff here looks really cool. Uh you will notice that these things are uh, intense. <laughs> this is intense. I, I was actually like yeah, I was a little grossed out by this and it's 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 cool. It's fantastic because you get to make what you want to make. There's so much to do here. And no offense, like I don't know what this is. I don't know what this would be considered. If you have something like that going on, please explain. Uh, in, enlighten me. I'd I'd love to be educated. Here's another thing where it looks like sort of like electric shocks or, or, or something like veins, but I don't know. And this it's like sort of half attack on Titan or something like that. That could be a burn, right? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, lots of options there, uh, and it's it's impressive. It's cool. And once again, you can't set the, as I said, the, the intensity on all of them. Then, facial forms. These are two of my favorite sets. These guys here are very cool. So what these are is they are different bits and pieces that you can throw onto your character to make them look older, to make, make them look more tired, to ma make them look more withered. Uh, to, to just add personality to the face and it's amazing you got everything from bags under the eyes to laugh lines to to cleft chins uh, to crow's feet check that out everything uh, ring uh, cracked lips dude cracked lips you can change the intensity on it as well uh, and then what's kind of beautiful is you can combine them look at those wrinkles like legitimately some of the best wrinkles i've ever seen in a game it looks amazing they make old characters look so good in this it's really cool. So you can combine these. Uh, example, you want the marks under the eyes, but you also want the acne scars. Boom, boom, boom. So you have two choices. They're both the same. Uh, just know that you can take them, you can combine them, intensity, everything. Next up, tattoos. Uh, yeah, tattoos. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they got kitties. Yeah, there's some cats. Uh, but for real, uh, I was not very impressed by the tattoos. I mentioned earlier, I thought that they should have spent a bit more time on these. Some of them are really nice, very very sci-fi, sci you know, a little bit cyberpunk maybe. Uh, but I believe that they could have done a better job. Uh, well, better job maybe not, but they could have added more variety here. If there is an option to collect tattoos, piercings, stuff like that in the game, uh, then all is forgiven. But otherwise, having just 14 tattoos, but 70 uh, different uh, dermo aesthetics mm, this is a weird choice it's a weird choice so that's like the one place where i feel like it, it falls short a little bit one of the few places but this is pretty sick and you get to change the color on it uh, i i tested this out and on like darker skin tones having a lighter tattoo is pretty fantastic i also believe that they really should have had more colors here there's no yellows there's no real proper greens uh, the color choice is also a little limited on the tattoo so i'm not very impressed by that it's sort of the weak point of this creator but it's all right another weak point is probably these options here the cheek options weak point because i don't think that they do very much of anything uh, you you get to change basically the the uh, blush on the cheeks different types of blush uh, you get to change the color on it right here there are lots of colors like lots of colors. Like why don't we have all these colors on the tattoos? That's an easy thing to do, right? This is all the colors. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it looks like something, but it really doesn't do much, you know? This is the second one. You'll notice the one was lower and the one was higher. This is on the upper cheek. The other one was on the lower cheek. And then the color. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, once again, I bet that there's going to be a character in the game somewhere that's going to be using all of this stuff. Tattoos, 
facial forms, cheeks, complexion options, and they're going to look awesome. And I'm going to be like, oh my God, what did I do? Why didn't I pay more attention to it? They are, as you arrive here and as you look at it the first time, a little pointless, a little sort of nothing. But if you work with it and you combine all the different options together, you're going to leave happy. I'm almost certain of it. Okay. So intensity, this is the lipstick. I like the lipstick here. I like the fact that they give it to you on the male and the female characters. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. The options for the lipstick colors are fantastic. They're awesome. There's a lot of cool colors here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. I, I guess it's missing a gloss option, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. Uh, you can simulate the gloss by, by doing a highlight. I'll show you now. Let's take black. Then we'll go to the accent and I will do the intensity up. Now I say you can simulate a highlight. Uh, it's sort of a weird situation, but like I'll take white, white and black first to show you. You can sort of simulate a glossiness on it by taking a white on it and then just pulling the intensity down a little bit. But it's it's sort of like a patch job, you know, <laughs> you know? it's not it's not amazing. Uh, it's not the best way of doing it. Uh, some gloss options would be cool, but this is still fine. Decent options for lipstick. And uh, with all the different color combinations, I think that you could probably come up with something relatively cool, you know, relatively cool. You know, this is good. That's good. Let's turn this off for now and we'll keep going. We don't need no lipstick. Eyeshadow. There's a lot of different makeup options, okay? A lot. And you will see that some of them are by default on, on the female characters, so just keep that in mind when you jump in. There you go, you got those ones, and then you get to change the color on them. Let's pick one quickly and change the color. Very nice that they give you all the different color options. Once again, I would have liked these options on tattoos. It's alright though. I mean, the tattoos are fine. But yeah, I would have liked to have seen these on tattoos as well. Because you've got like 30, 40 options here for colors. But on tattoos, you only got like 10. So I'm not sure exactly why they did that. But yeah. There it is. Okay. That is... We were on the upper ones, right? Yeah. Now lower. Let's change the intensity. And you will see that we've got eye shadow. And then we've got eyeliner. Combine them. Make some pretty cool stuff. Here's the colors. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Again, I think that people will probably be able to jump in here and make some relatively nice looking characters using these. Uh, I'm not one of those people. I think I'm going to probably steer clear of the makeup. But, I mean, maybe, maybe some eyeliner. I think the eyeliner actually makes the character... In, in subtle ways look better. You'll see here. If you put like the, the slightly less crazy eyeline on. This is the crazy one. <laughs> then then you can do some cool stuff. This is like lightning bolts or something. Uh, but there are some decent colors here. And it's nice. It's nice that they have so many. There you go. And yeah, I, I don't know why, but again, I, I do think that on the darker skin tones, slightly darker skin tones, uh, you get more out of this. I'm going to leave the upper one on quickly, and I'll leave the color on dark so I can show you what the lower one looks like. The lower ones, they combine with the upper ones quite nicely, because they have matching pairs. You'll see the shock one as an example, uh, that one there. The top one, the bottom one come together. It's the same with uh, this one, the twirly one, top and bottom come together. Uh, and then you get to change the color. Yeah, same as how we just did on the upper ones. Oops. You get to change the color. Lots of nice choices. I think using some bright colors here would be sick. You'd, you'd be able to do some really cool stuff. Yeah, like the yellows and the oranges and the reds and the whites, I think, would look kind of nice. Anyway, that's it for the eyeliner. Looks okay. And then, dirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You mean you might have you might have thought to yourself that that was it, but no, there's more. There's, you can after the dermo complexion stuff, you still get to do dirt. It's kind of it's kind of madness. There's a lot of options. There's just so much here. And and the dirt. This looks like actual dirt. You get to change the color of it as well. So if we take this one example, uh, you could make it look sort of like camo. I feel like like sort of camouflage paint or whatever. It's it's cool. 
and again, combine this with the complexion stuff, with the tattoos, with all the different, um, what are they called, blushes and things, and you could come up with something pretty crazy looking. I don't know if it'll be good crazy, but it will be crazy. And that brings us to the end of female customization. Are we happy with what we made here? Not really, not really, no. But, <laughs> but isn't that always the case? Is that not always the case? We're going to go back quickly and we're just going to select the, uh, the default one. Because that's it for female. Uh, we are done with all the customization stuff now. We're going to pick, it doesn't really matter, we'll pick this guy. Then we're going to jump into the background options. I'm so excited for these. So, the way this works is you pick a background for your character. And it can be a combination of a whole lot of different stuff. And you'll notice that there are a bunch of starting skills. You can see them right here. That will be mixed together between these. Okay. You pick a background that sounds fun to you and you pick a background that can suit the, the, the look and feel of the character that you're going for and then you just jump in. Uh, there's traits as well, we'll jump into that after, but let's get started on this. These are the same for male and female, so don't think that there's anything that's not on the other. Uh, Beast Hunter. From the Ashtar of Aquila to the Terramorphs that plague the whole of the settled systems, hostile alien life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. Yeah, yeah, you have fitness, ballistics, and gastronomy. Now, I'm not going to read every single one of these because they are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can see here that, uh, I mean, I won't read them all every time is what I'm saying. Fitness, in space, the greatest commodity is oxygen. And the increased lung capacity gained by regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. So if we see fitness on another one here, I won't be reading that again. <laughs> okay, um, but there's a lot of different stuff here. Ballistics. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, a few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. Yeah, you don't say. And then gastronomy. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients, and there's almost no limit to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can prepare. So that's pretty cool, right? Beast Hunter is a nice combination. Bouncer. You've worked the line at the toughest clubs in the settled systems. Back then, you learned that most non-lethal confrontations can be solved one of two ways. A strong right hook or a more strongly secured door. It's cool. Starting skills. Boxing. Once considered a sport of kings. <laughs> boxing is still practiced as recreational competitive activity, but its combat applications can't be denied. You don't say. <laughs> security. While the standardized digital lock-in mechanism is renowned for its security, any code can be broken with a proper training. And then finally, fitness. Once again, you know what that is. Bounty Hunter. Wherever there are wanted individuals, there are those who profit from their capture. And your quarry knows that in the vastness of space, they can run, but they can't hide. That's awesome. Uh, and you'll see that they have boost pack training. A la Mandalorian? Uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's not specifically Mandalorian, it's more Boba Fett, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Anyway. Piloting. As more people journey into space, the number of those certified to effectively pilot various types of spacecraft has increased dramatically. Targeting control systems, missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an uh, intimate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. And then boost pack, specialized training and innovations. Oh, ooh, whoops. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's that's a fantastic selection, by the way. Then Chef, which is like really, that's out there, right? That's out there. While the unrefined masses scoffed down chunks by the shipload, you catered to those with a more discerning palate. In your kitchen, countless alien species became true culinary masterpieces. You've got gastronomy here, which we've seen already. Dueling, considered by many to be a lost art, close attacks with melee weapons can often be deadlier than ranged combat when carried out by a skilled practitioner. And then scavenging. Uh, there are those who can find just about anything, and their success is usually dependent on knowing how and where to look. Not exactly what you'd expect from a chef, but awesome nonetheless. Combat medic. Leave it to human beings to fight over something as infinite as outer space. That's where you come in. You've never been afraid to take on the enemy, but you'd much rather take care of your friends. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Pistol certification. Considered the, uh, considering the popularity of the personal sidearm in the settled systems, familiarity with such weapons is often considered essential. That's cool. Medicine. 
Only through advancements in medical training and technology has humanity been able to withstand the galaxy and its many dangers. That's cool. And then wellness. By embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habits, one may improve their overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. Don't ask me what that means. I don't know if you can die of old age in this game. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I have no idea, but they make it sound like it. I need that. But I need that in real life. Cyber Runner. From Neon to New Atlantis, the Megacorp stand as monuments to power, prestige, and profit. You've worked both for and against them on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscience for credits. Stealth. For a combatant who values discretion above all else, the ability to approach a target undetected and kill with a silenced weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. Then we've got security again. And then theft. While not entirely honorable and certainly not legal, it is nonetheless occasionally necessary to discreetly remove property from someone's person. <laughs> that's like, a, that's like a, a thief combined with a hacker, which is really cool. A cyberneticist. Robots? Mere toys. Neuramps? Good for parlor tricks. The colony wars may have made implants and upgrades available to veterans, but you once saw a greater future. Humans and machines as one. Hmm. So we've got medicine here. Security. And lasers. Personal laser weapons are in widespread use across the settled systems and can uh, specialized training can greatly increase their effectiveness. That's cool. Diplomat. The wars are over. Peace now reigns the settled systems, but only because they are those quietly fighting to keep it. Because of you, agreements were signed, words were heeded, and lives were spared. You have persuasion in the settled systems, the nuanced ability to listen and discuss can often accomplish far more than simply shooting first and asking questions later. Then we have commerce. In the settled systems, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Can we though? I wonder. And then finally, wellness. That's actually kind of cool that you have wellness on there too. Explorer. Lasers. Ooh, <laughs> astrodynamics and survey. And that sounds like an interesting combo. They said exploration is a lost art. You didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as the major factions argued over the space, they desperately tried to control. You were busy uncovering the wonders of the settled systems. So we have lasers. Astrodynamics is advanced technology is one thing, but it takes skill, patience, and a little bit of love to coax even more capability out of a ship's grav drive. Hmm. That's like advanced training with uh, piloting, right? Surveying. Humanity now has access to untold alien worlds and the ability to decipher all that data while on the ground has become an essential skill set. That's really cool. Gangster. You were always disgusted by suckers killing themselves to make an honest wage. As soon as you were old enough to hold a weapon, you took what you wanted from anyone unlucky enough to have it. Mm. Shotgun certification. The cornerstone of close quarters combat or CQC. The shotgun has proven a simple deadly weapon for hundreds of years. Then boxing and theft. Pretty cool. Homesteader. The <laughs> this is very interesting, by the way. The discovery of the settled systems, many oxygen-rich planets and moons, meant humans can now live just about anywhere. If they had the know-how, you did, and utilized it to great effect. This is interesting, I say, because it combines with one of the traits that I looked at earlier, and it's, you'll, you'll see, you'll see, you'll, you'll, <laughs> and it's really cool, you'll see when we get to it. Geology, newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some incredible technological advancements. Then surveying, which we've seen, and weightlifting. Weight training can significantly increase one's ability to carry weapons and equipment, both in space and on the ground. Industrialist. There was a time when all you wanted to be was a titan of industry, maybe a ship designer or a megacorp exec. Thankfully, that skill set never goes out of style in the settled systems. Here we have persuasion, which we've seen already, security, and research methods. By skillfully employing both new and time-tested methods, a researcher may complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insights. Long hauler. Let those other hot-headed pilots obsess over laser weapons and maneuverability. You're the space trucker, pure and simple. <laughs> Pack the cargo, get it there fast, get paid, repeat. Life is simple and good. You got weightlifting, piloting, and ballistic weapon systems. We've seen these two. This one, while there have been significant advancements in shipborne weaponry, sometimes the simplest tool is the most effective. Ah, yeah, no lasers, no rockets, just guns. 
Pilgrim, wayfarer, wanderer, seeker, transient. You've been called many things during your travels and learned something those others could never understand. The journey is the destination. Ah, oh, that's scavenging, surveying, and gastronomy. Then we have Professor. You always enjoyed learning, but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others. As humankind spread throughout the stars, there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and you gladly assisted. This is astrodynamics, geology, and research methods. We're going to see a lot of crossovers now. Uh, the Ronin. Masterless and unbound, you wandered the settled systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were a simple mercenary. To others, a hero. And to a select few, a nightmare they could never wake from. That's cool. Dueling, stealth, and scavenging. That's actually kind of smart. Sculptor, with your knowledge of anatomy and skilled, steady hands, you could have a lucrative career as a surgeon. Instead, you followed your heart and created works of art to amaze and inspire. That's kind of a nice combination as well. Medicine and persuasion. And we have soldier. The settled system is no stranger to warfare, and if there's one thing armed conflict relies on, it's trained warriors with guns and guts. You had both. Simple, bloody work, and you were great at it. That's a, that's a fantastic combination as well. Fitness, ballistics, and boost pack training. Space scoundrel. Good. Bad. Whose right is it to say? If there's anything you've learned while traipsing through the galaxy, it's this. Space may look black, but it's really one big shade of grey. Oh, what a fantastic description! Pistols, piloting, and persuasion. That's sick. What a combo. The PPP. Xenobiologist. The settled systems is home to untold alien species, and while none of them have yet proven sentient, that never deterred you. So, you sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they offered. That's lasers, surveying, and fitness. Oh, what is this? File not found. Oddly, there's no information on you on your past life. Clerical oversight, deletion by some powerful unknown faction, or is there just nothing of note to mention? Whatever the reason, your past is known only to you. What's important is that the here and now and the path that you're about to forge. That's actually, yeah, that's kind of cool. Wellness, ballistics, and piloting. I think that's probably the best all-round one. You got some guns, you got some health boosts, and you got some ship training. That's fantastic. And that's actually the last one that there is. Now... The choices that you make here, they do not affect the traits that you're going to be picking next. So we're going to move on to traits now, and we're going to have a look. Here we go. Alien DNA. You can pick three traits, as you can see over here. And uh, yeah, they, they, they're pretty cool. You volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. That's sick. <laughs> and then here's the one that I was talking about, Homesteader. It combines nicely with Dream Home. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage <laughs> with Gal Bank that has to be paid weekly. Like, how, how, how crazy is it that you can just have a house? You have your housing right from the start. I don't think I've ever seen a game doing that specifically, and especially not through traits, right? It's very cool. Dream Home, man. Empath. You're deeply connected with the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions like will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Mm, you can be in touch with them. Extrovert. You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. This can't be combined with introvert. Freestar Collective Settler. It's nice. This I can sort of relate to these uh, choices here. <laughs> <laughs> you gain access to special free star collective dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by that faction. But crime bounty towards other factions is uh, greatly increased. Can't be combined with any other faction allegiance trait. So you can sort of pick allegiance with factions, but you can only pick one. And this one again, uh, it does one thing, whereas the others, others will do something else. Hero worshipped. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will <laughs> you've earned the attention of an adoring fan what that's the one from oblivion right he'll show up randomly and jab at you incessantly on the plus side he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts fantastic awesome introvert you really need your alone time yeah i can relate man exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone but more when adventuring with other human companions can't be combined with extrovert kid stuff your parents are alive and well and you can visit them on their home but they'll automatically send you to... Oh, okay. You'll automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. 
That's awesome. Dude, you can pick such like random things here. Like dream home and kid stuff would be great. What if you can bring your parents to your home? Combine the two. Neon Street Rat. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on Neon. Crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Can't be combined with any other faction allegiance traits. Raised Enlightened. You grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to a special chest full of items at the House of Enlightenment in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. Huh? Okay. Can't be combined with any other religion trait. Oh, that's cool. Raised Universal. You grew up as a member of the Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a special chest full of items in the Sanctum Universum in New Atlantis, but you lose access to the House of Enlightened chest. So if you don't take either, can you get both? Oh man. These are the real questions. Serpent's Embrace. You grew up worshipping the Great Serpent. Grav Jump In provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly, like an addiction. <laughs> that's, that's a religious trait? Okay. Spaced. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when on the surface of a planet. Can't be combined with Terra Firma. Taskmaster. Occasionally, you, if you have crew trained in certain ship systems, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below 50%. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Whoa. Terra firma. You never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decreased when you're in space. Can't be combined with spaced. United Colonies Native. You gain access to special United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction. However, crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Can't be combined with any other faction allegiance trait. These will be so interesting. Like, to mix and match these, it's so interesting. Wanted. Someone put a price on your head, and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up to try and kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you get extra damage. Ooh. <laughs> so occasionally people will just pop out of the damn woodwork to try and kill you. That's fantastic. So many good options. And that actually brings us to the end of customization. That's it. That's all there is. Uh, if you click finish here, you get to enter your name. It uh, shows you your pronoun. Actually, I didn't know that it showed it here. Uh, you get to enter your name. You get to see a little sort of recap of what you chose. And then boom, boom, boom. Uh, you begin. You obviously can't start now because you know, I haven't picked my stuff yet, but you get the idea. Okay? You get the idea. Oh, there's pronoun. Okay, hold on. Ah, yes! All right. <laughs> there it is! I was looking for it. Awesome. Okay, so you can change your pronoun. Yeah. He, him, she, her, they, them. There it is, dude. Pronoun options are in the game. They just didn't put it in the uh, initial options. I feel like they should have put it here in the biometric ID or in the body options, but anyway. There it is. And then you put your name in, you can start the game. Start your grand adventure in the settled systems and beyond. Guys, thank you so much for joining. This has been a treat. What a fantastic system. They've taken what the older games had, the Skyrims and the Fallouts, they've refined it, and they've given us the perfect version of it. The quality on the models is phenomenal. It's fantastic. They look awesome in the game and they look awesome up close the detail on the textures on stuff like the hair which is always something that i like i really pay attention to it you know it's something that i always look at the detail on it is just fa it's fantastic as well it's awesome it looks great it looks really cool uh it's crisp it's clear it's nice and then when you get to the fine tuning you really have so much control they they basically let you change the smallest options and then you can also combine different options which i thought was really cool uh, initially i thought it was a bit much but i have fiddled around with it a little bit and it's impressive it's a really impressive system uh, so i would say the combination of the stuff that they have here uh, the fact that they actually have body options is 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 awesome you know, you can actually change the muscularity and stuff of your body. This is something that I saw a lot of people complain about in games like Diablo or uh, Baldur's Gate or whatever. Uh, it's something that a lot of people wanted in their game. It's nice that they give you that. It's nice that they give you some personality uh, options as well. Like you've got the walk style here uh, and then the traits and stuff that come into play there. And, uh, you know, again, in closing, I feel like all the options that you have here with the sliders, uh, with the uh, different shape blends and stuff like that, it's great. It's phenomenal. It's an awesome mix. 
And I think for this kind of game, they've absolutely nailed it. I'm not going to say that it is doing stuff that we've never seen before. I mean, this kind of stuff has just, it's been around, just not in such a neat and tidy package. You know, they've taken all of it, they've simplified it, and they've made it pretty satisfying. Uh, so I'm a big fan. I really enjoyed my time looking at this, and I'm going to have a fantastic time making my own character. I hope you enjoy it as well. I hope you guys have a fantastic time playing Starfield. I hope that, uh, you know, if you do make a character, that you end up making something and 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 working through these options and, and ending up with something that you really like, that you're passionate about, because I do think that there's enough here for us. There really is enough. And uh, yeah, they've done a great job. I, I was I was a little hesitant to jump into this, and I'm so glad that all of that has sort of just washed away, you know? I'm just, I'm happy. I am happy with what I've seen here. I think it's awesome. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about it. Uh, do you think that they've got enough? There are for real a few points where I think they could do a little better, but are they deal breakers? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, it's like tattoos and stuff, I think could be a little more robust. I personally would have liked to have seen randomize, just so that you can see sort of the full extent of what the options can do, and then maybe an import or export system for characters. Uh, there could be a few more longer hairstyles, but like, really, that's it? That's it? This, this system shines on certain things, like the hair, the beard styles are awesome, uh, all the different skin options, the fact that you can really make uh, younger and older characters and have them look natural, that's one of the coolest things, because in all honesty, my problem with Skyrim and with Fallout and Oblivion and all, all the other games, even Fallout 76 a little bit, was that you could never make good-looking characters. Or if you did, there was always that something, that little something that bothered you. And that's gone here. You have full control over everything. And you can make your character look as good or bad as you want. You have the options. And it's great. It's great. So yeah, me, I love it. I'm impressed. Awesome. 10 out of 10. I don't know. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. Please let me know with a comment or something like that. Give this video a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. I love it when you guys give input. I love it when you say what you think about this stuff because, yeah, it gets you involved. A lot of people come to these videos and the first thing they do is they scroll down to the comments to see what the public thinks, to see what you guys think. So you can be involved with that. You leave that comment that gets upvoted to high heavens, immortalize yourself. <laughs> do it. But there you go. Again, give it a like, share it, and do all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, most importantly, happy making those characters in Starfield. Happy that.